today we are going to discuss about dc generators dc generator already we discussed about uh, what is electromechanical energy conversion if you give mechanical energy as a input for emission if you obtain electrical energy it is a generator the generator or electrical energy producing devices what is a mission basically a mission is a device that converts one form of energy into another form is either electrical energy into mechanical energy or mechanical energy into electrical energy is called a mission a dc mission which works with a dc supply is called dc mission dc mission is also called as electromechanical energy conversion device constructionally the dc mission is same for both generators and motors if you give the supply then it works as a motor dc motor if you obtain the supply from the dc mission then it is a generator let us discuss what is the construction of a dc generator a dc generator or a dc mission both are same constructionally if you know the construction of a dc generator the same you can go for dc motor also the main parts of dc generator is the generator consists of two main parts one is stator another one is rotor the stator is the stationary part of a dc generator the rotating part of the mission is called a rotor what are the parts in a stator what are the parts in a rotor that is the very important to know the construction of a dc generator yoke frame pole core and pole shoe field winding are all the parts of a stator a stator consists of yoke frame it is also called as pole core pole shoe the poles are fitted to the stator by using bolt and nuts the pole winding the poles are placed, placed with a field winding that produces magnetic flux whenever the supply is given for field winding the field winding or the places are a field winding pole core pole shoe and yoke or frame all these are placed in stator whereas in rotor armature core armature windings all will be placed in rotor on the rotor a commutator brushes bearing shaft and cooling fan end cover eye bolt terminal box ventilating duct so many parts are there what is one by one what are the parts what is made what is the function simply and what is the application all this will be discussed in this video the yoke yoke is the stationary part it is outer frame of the mission is called yoke yoke is also a metal frame it is also known as it provides it what is the purpose of yoke is it provides mechanical support to the whole mission it carries the magnetic flux produced by pole in generator lo mana poles untai poles flux produce chesthe mana eppudaithe supply isthamo aa flux armature cut ka cut avutundi alage aa flux distribution uniform ga cheyadaniki aa vaati stator lo unde poles valla vache flux uniform ga distribute avadaniki and return path ga frame kuda act avutadi it carries the magnetic flux produced by the poles and acts as return path for the main flux yoke it is yoke is outer frame of the mission material used for yoke is cast iron it is very important to know that what is the material used by the yoke is cast iron where in case of large missions it is made up of cast steel or, or rolled steel it is for large missions cast steel or rolled steel if you go for transformer also the laminations of made with silicon steel laminations the material we are using for that is very important yoke should have high permeability and sufficient mechanical strength it requires the outer frame of the mission is called yoke it acts as return path or uniformly to distribute the flux it acts as return path and it is a total covers the total stator and supports the dc generator pole core and pole shoe pole core and pole shoe the necessary magnetic flux is produced by the poles all practical generators uses electromagnetic poles the pole consist of pole core and pole shoe pole core produces magnetic flux material used for poles is silicon steel laminations the poles are made up of a material silicon steel laminations to reduce eddy current losses in stator well, laminations why we are using stamped material if you are using the eddy current losses will be reduced 
pole shoe to spread the flux uniformly a pole shoe is required material used for pole pole core and pole shoe is silicon steel laminations if you see the diagram what is the core and what is the laminated core will be silicon steel laminations the pole shoe serves two purposes they spread out the flux in the air gap and also being large cross section to reduce the reluctance of the magnetic flux magnetic flux reluctance tagichadaniki pole shoe spread cheyadaniki easy ga pani vastundi they support field winding and are excited coils mana supply istam kada sab self excited or separately excited aithe self excited lo kuda winding supply avadaniki ee field coils anni place cheyadaniki pole core use avutundi field coils pole shoe distribute the flux uniformly next field winding field winding or fielding coils field winding means it is a field coils also known as the number of field turns are provided on each pole when direct current is passed through this winding or coils they electromagnetic magnetize the pole and produces the necessary flux material used for field winding is coil is made up of copper wires are used to produce magnetic flux copper copper is the material used for field winding field winding is placed on pole కోర్ మీద ప్లేస్ చేసి ఉంటారు ఫ్లక్స్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ చేయడానికి ఈ వైండింగ్ వాడతారు మెటీరియల్ వచ్చి కాపరే వాడతారు కాయిల్స్ ఆర్ మేడ్ విత్ కాపర్ వైర్స్ ఆర్మేచర్ కోర్ ఆర్మేచర్ కోర్ ఆల్రెడీ టోల్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ రొటేటింగ్ పార్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ రొటేటింగ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద డిసీ జనరేటర్ విచ్ రొటేట్స్ బిట్వీన్ పోల్స్ ఇన్ ఎ మ్యాటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఇట్ సర్వ్స్ టూ పర్పసెస్ వన్ ఆర్మేచర్ కోర్లో పర్పస్ ఏంటి ఆర్మేచర్ కోర్ పర్పస్ టూ పర్పసెస్ మెయిన్లీ ఇట్ అకామిడేట్స్ ద ఆర్మేచర్ కండక్టర్స్ ఆర్ కాయిల్స్ ఇన్ ద స్లాట్స్ it provides low reluctance path for the flux from north pole to south pole rotates the conductor to produce dynamically induced emf dynamically induced emf is induced in generators where statically induced emf will be in transformers because the due to rotation of conductors only emf will be induced that is dynamically induced emf the dynamically induced emf is dynamic in nature due to dynamic nature of conductor if the conductor is in stationary condition the magnetic flux produce due to the magnetic flux produces the flux only rotating the conductor will be stationary that is in case of transformer the conductor is stationary and flux rotates here conduct flux is constant and the conductor rotates due to dynamic in nature of conductor the flux produce the emf generated that is called dynamically induced emf the armature has slots in its outer periphery as the conductors are placed in the slots the armature outer periphery lo slots untai akkada mana conductors armature windings in places armature windings two types armature lap winding and wave winding uh, windings lo mana again topic lo we will discuss that material edu vartaru armature core ku మెటీరియల్ యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ఆర్మేచర్ కోర్ ఈస్ సర్క్యులర్ సిలికాన్ స్టీల్ లామినేషన్స్ ఇక్కడ ఆర్మేచర్ కోర్ కూడా లామినేట్ చేయబడుతుంది టు రెడ్యూస్ ఎడ్డి కరెంట్ లాసెస్ సర్క్యులర్ సిలికాన్ స్టీల్ లామినేషన్స్ ఆర్ యూస్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ ఎ కోర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఈ జనరేటర్స్ when the armature rotates conductors also rotate hence uh, cut the magnetic flux there is a air gap 1 mm to 6 mm if you increase the air gap there are so many reactive power consumption will be increases therefore the air gap will be very low material used for armature core is circular silicon steel laminations armature winding is placed in the slots of armature core the armature winding is an arrangement of conductors to produce desired emf electromotive force or a voltage will be generated in armature winding it consists of large number of insulated coils each coil having one or more number of turns these coils are usually formed former and bound in place in slots all these conductors are insulated from each other approximately connected in series or parallel combinations depends upon voltage and current rating ఈ వైండింగ్స్ అన్ని సిరీస్లో కానీ పేర్లలో కానీ కనెక్ట్ చేస్తారు ఆ ప్లేస్ వైండింగ్ ఏ విధంగా ప్లేస్ చేస్తారో దాన్ని బట్టి వైండింగ్ టైప్స్ ఉన్నాయి ల్యాప్ వైండింగ్ అండ్ వేవ్ వైండింగ్ కమ్యూటేటర్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూటేటర్ అండ్ డిసీ జనరేటర్ ఈస్ టు కన్వర్ట్ ఆల్టర్నేటింగ్ కరెంట్ ప్రొడ్యూస్డ్ ఇన్ నార్మేచర్ కండక్టర్స్ ఇన్ టు యూని డైరెక్షనల్ కరెంట్ కమ్యూటేటర్ ఈజ్ మేడ్ అప్ ఆఫ్ కాపర్ సెగ్మెంట్స్ it collects the current from the armature conductors and rectifies it into ac to dc material used for is cylindrical structure or made up of copper segment insulated from each other two segments we are using copper segments 
copper segments are insulated from each other that is material used for commutator ee commutators ee commutator madhyalo mica sheets mica sheets are provided at the end of the armature the number of commutator segments equal to number of armature coils enni coils untayo armature lo anni coils equal to number of segments untayi oka each coil ki oka commutator segment will be connected brushes what is the function of brushes the main function of brushes is to collect current from commutator segments and supply to the external load the brushes uh, you can see the brushes in black color uh, black color the material used for brushes is graphite or carbon we are using the material used for brushes made of a carbon or graphite carbon graphite or copper depending upon the requirement the brushes are rectangular in shape and placed in in a bar type or brush holder a spring is also attached brush are even a bit of one of my luck contact about the DC generator generate this would have a store to have it over spring bit into a brush pain and a brush are you going with the spring action while a moment while a brush of Malik commutator segment in touch out on to this everybody knows that the DC generator is provided with bearings bearings required to rotate freely and friction losses also induces in the bearings so if the bearings are very old gets old and shaft and core all this will be connected to bearings okay sorry dc mission construction again over you should make it up or dc mission it got a cross sectional view to make just a new parts okay sir can be so many magnetic frame or yoke outer frame of chain monocle mission total cover just as a magnetic frame or yoke or material in the water as a mono or a cast iron material water the magnetic path no mario low reluctance bottom create shed on a key e frame or me yoke even a housing chamber into the and a total mission protect just on to the in the remaining parts such as state or magnets may already check and get a state or magnets different poles and then not alternative poles for poles and me the north to south poles even the one day पक्क पक्कने उन्दे पोल्स अंटे adjacent पोल्स और opposite पोल आर्ट उन्टा अंटे north pole and south pole इदी armature armature अंचुन उन्दे slots लो conductors नुँ place जास्त नुँटा अंटे armature winding नुँ easy गा place जेड़ा निकी slots उन्टे आ slots लो वाड़े conductors नुँ बट्टी number of coils नुँ बट्टी double layer, single layer अन गुड़ चप्तर इंक remaining parts उस आर्मेचर कोर ये विधंग और तुम छोड़ चुके इधर लैमिनेटेड कोर इन दो को लैमिनेटेड वर्तन है ये डी करंट लॉस रेट इस सेड़ा में वर्तन हाई परमेबिलिटी सिलिकॉन स्टील लैमिनेशंस ने ये विधंग का स्लास रूपम लो अंदर अन्य स्टैम्पिंग सेड़ा में वाला वो का सॉलिड का फॉर्म होती है इधर आर्मेचर क आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग से ही दें तो तैयार जाता रहो। कापर तो आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग फॉर्म चेस इंटर रहो। और कापर वाइंडिंग ये भी दंग का प्लेस है इस तरह ने स्लॉट्स लो प्लेस है इस तरह। और कम्युटेटर, कम्युटेटर आर्मेचर नोंची करंट उन कलेक्टर्स को देंगे। आंटे ये नी कम्युटेटर सेगमेंट्स होंगे। ये कम्युटेटर से� ट इका आर्मेचर शाफ्ट टोटल एंटायर आर्मेचर इस शाफ्ट में इधर अन्ना होता है इस शाफ्ट को बेरिंग्स तो कनेक्ट है उन्होंने नेट इजी का फ्री का रोटेट है कि बेरिंग्स वर्तर हो इस शाफ्ट को पावर अंडर हो माना मैकेनिकल पावर मोटर लो दूसरे मैकेनिकल पावर अलाव सुन्दी शाफ्ट पावर अंडर हो � शाफ्ट पावर इन इवन ने असेंबलिंग इविदंग का डीसी जनरेटर का नहीं मोटर का नहीं मिशन इविदंग का उन्होंने अन्य पार्ट्स वो कसरे का क्लब चेस्टे अलाउ उन्होंने नंटे चुस्ते फर्स्ट आर्मेचर कमिटेटर पोल्स आत्रवाता पोल्स वन्नी कवर चेस्टु वो का योग कुंटुने